I, I love films that uh, inhabit a world of their own and uh, for me Dark Hearts was that film. It was almost you step into this um, downtown LA arts district and normal rules don't apply. dark side and not necessarily the light side which I think was really ballsy and I, th I thought it was an important film that needed to be made and also a very beautiful piece and Rudolph has a, an incredible vision of what he wants this to be and that vision is his voice as an artist of what he wants to create. Dark Hearts is such an interesting mix of um, genres and, and uh, storylines. Sex, blood, and violence. <sighs> no, no, it's not only about sex, it's about... The art. My we can sell this. You don't know, is this gonna be a movie about vampires? Is this gonna be a movie about artists? Is this gonna be is this burlesque scene now? You know, it's dark, it's, it's, it's David Lynch, it's, it's David Cronenberg, it's, you know, animalistic, and you know, there's a beast there. I know, I feel like it's going to be similar to a film noir, but I also know Rudolph, the director, has such a specific vision for it that I, I feel like I'm going to be surprised when I see it all cut together. It stand out uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of the scripts you, you, no, you normally read. It was a fun script, the character was fun. What do you need my blood for? Art. Art? <laughs> if you think you're gonna make money, someone conceptual art, <laughs> You're out of your mind. The only person who made money doing conceptual art was uh, Yoko Ono, and the only reason she made money because she was mad at John fucking Lennon. Are you in or out? It's really fun. I I'm having so much fun. Like, it's crazy. Even the days where I'm sobbing and it's a really intense scene, I get so much fun. But you were really like... into doing the intense scenes. Huh? Yeah, wow. those are the fun scenes. Sweet. No! No! Cut. Beautiful. Okay. Sonia is gorgeous, so it's not real hard to uh, have some kind of interest in her. <laughs> and uh, as is Rachel, though. Um, and uh, I, I remember I used to watch her on uh, on the uh, on Clueless when I when I was younger. So that was that's pretty neat. And uh, Goran uh, is incredible, especially as Armand. And I was talking to my mom the other day, and I said, Yeah, I'm uh, doing this movie, and I uh, I got. Uh, I got my butt kicked by Goran Vizhnik. She was like, I know, he's just a, he's a beautiful man. I, I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> so. My co-stars are, what can I say? I mean, we're very lucky to be part of an entire team that's fantastic. You know, Lucas, who plays my little brother, Lucas Till, he just came out to Bex, man, right? And I got to meet him with Rudolph, and we got to go through the script and talk, and and meet and kind of you know build that chemistry and that didn't take very long it was like that it was like click and you know it's one of those weird movies where everything really just comes together so right